Hi everybody, Mark here again from Pond Algae Solutions and in this short video tip I want to talk about another water quality parameter that you can test and would really, I think, want to take a look at from time to time to make sure all is well in your pond. That particular uh, characteristic is called water hardness and that represents the overall dissolved mineral content in your pond water. Uh, it's, it's very useful to have an adequate amount of minerals in your pond water. Uh, too little and you can affect your fish's health, their uh, skeletal development, their overall um, well-being is diminished. Uh, magnesium is very helpful to, to their overall health and vitality. Uh, calcium also is very useful. For our purposes, when we use bacteria to treat, and I'd make this note that if you have ever worked with a beneficial bacteria product and not gotten good results, one of the things you might want to check on is the calcium level, the overall uh, dissolved minerals or water hardness, uh, if it's very low, could be a factor. Ideally, you want about 75 to 150 parts per million on the readings, at least on the, the testing tools that we use. Uh, if you find low calcium, what actually happens is the bacteria use calcium as a way to bind to phosphates and, and to nullify them or make them ineffective. And if there is not adequate calcium in the water, uh, you're going to run into problems. You can actually use uh, coral calcium um, uh, very easily to add uh, extra calcium to the water. We'll talk about that in, in another video perhaps. but. Uh, if you find that uh, your, your mineral content is very low, there are ways to bring that up. If, if it's very high, you might want to do some water changes or, or, uh, or work with different ways to keep bringing this into line. Uh, excessive mineralization is also not advantageous because you run into harder water. That can increase the toxicity of ammonia if it raises the pH along with the water hardness. And so there's, there's really a nice middle ground on all of these water characteristics or parameters that we've talked about, whether it's pH, uh, alkalinity, or water hardness. There is ideal ranges to work from. Um, and, and they're great to shoot for because then you know that the overall natural processes that should be happening and taking place in your pond are likely functioning as well as they could be. Uh, there are other issues that may come up for any pond owner. Nutrient levels are another thing that affect water quality, of course, and we've talked about those in past videos. Uh, phosphates, nitrates, nitrites, all that stuff is involved. Sun exposure is involved. But, you know, the three that we've talked about in this short series a pH, alkalinity, and water hardness I think are very useful. Uh, we don't talk about them enough and suggest that you monitor them enough. I know I haven't at times, but I think it's a good idea to keep an eye on these things. And if you're not getting the pond where you want them to be or your fish aren't as healthy as you'd hope they could be, these are some things that you could check and, uh, and try to improve things that may have a profound effect on the overall health and vitality of your pond. So I hope this helps. Uh, as always, uh, please post your comments and questions below this video on our blog. Uh, you can visit us at pondalgiesolutions.com anytime, and uh, we're there to help. And uh, hope you enjoy your pond. Have a great day wherever you are.